Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Pulse exclusive, the Marvel Legends series, Daredevil, the Man Without Fear, uh, three pack of Bullseye, Daredevil, and Elektra. So this is one where people really aren't caring about Bullseye like at all. Uh, people really want the Elektra um, and it seems to be hit or miss on the Daredevil and what people think. Now I know when for images first um, came out with people having this Daredevil 3-pack in hand. Everyone said the Daredevil is a terrible figure. The proportions look weird. It just doesn't look off. Um, and yeah, I kind of felt the same way seeing some of the pictures. And we know that it's the Renew Your Vows body, the Spider-Man Renew Your Vows body. So this figure, the same one here with the toe articulation and everything, uh, one of the greatest Spider-Man figures made. But something looked weird about this Daredevil figure and I never could pinpoint what it was until obviously now having it in hand. Does it look off with the proportions? No, it actually doesn't having it in hand. I'm not sure why with images it kind of came out that way. It looked like his head was too big and the body was small, but the body for sure is the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. And then every time somebody put this figure next to the Daredevil figure, like the size-wise, it didn't look it didn't look right. It didn't measure up. Everyone, you know, it looked like Daredevil was significantly shorter um, than Spider-Man. And the reason why, and I've kind of figured this out, is the head on Daredevil sits lower on the neck than the Spider-Man figure. Now I actually raised mine up a little bit, so it's probably not giving the best representation of kind of what what I'm talking about. Um, but that's what it is. And then the other thing is, is the Spider-Man hands, the fists, and you look at the size of Daredevil's hands, Daredevil has different hands. Those hands are smaller. So I actually think that, yes, the proportionally, the hands are too small. The rest of the figure is actually fine and actually pretty good. So it's just really weird. And again, I, I will show a better comparison and size comparison so we can kind of measure up. But that's, that's what's going on with the Daredevil. I wanted to kind of get that out of the way. Now, looking at the package, the package is pretty cool. This isn't something that's not going to sit on store shelves or anything, seeing it as, it as it is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, so we get some nice artwork and things kind of going on there. On one side, we see Daredevil. On the other side, we get Elektra and uh, Bullseye, but those are just uh, images of the figures. Here on the back of the package, we see all the accessories that they come with. So Elektra comes with her two sides. She has a sword, a pair of fists, and an alternate head. Daredevil has the two cable um, effects pieces for his batons he has the batons of course and then he has an extra set of hands so a set of open hands a set of fists bullseye has a knife he has the knife effect throwing hand he has the pointing finger hand for his left and then he has a fist for his left and then an open hand for his left and then the right gets um an open hand and Another open hand, I think mine may have been an error. I think he's supposed to come with a right fist, right? If I'm looking at the image on the package, it looks like that's a fist on there. Then he comes with an open hand. So I think mine um, has a little bit of an error there and I have two open right hands, which doesn't really make sense. Yeah, because the front, look, it's a fist there. Um, so yeah, wrong hands. I don't know if that's happening often, um, but you know, definitely some major QC issues. I know this is actually with the latest round of Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures. This has been a huge issue for Hasbro, and it sucks to see that it's getting into the Marvel Legends um, line with Hasbro. So hopefully they get that kind of shit fixed um, ASAP because it sucks to get the wrong kind of accessories. Now, at the end of the day, a, a wrong hand fist is not... It, it it sucks, right? But it's not going to hurt anything. You know, if it was missing his knife, if it was missing the alternate head, um, you know, things like that, that would, that would be terrible. Um, I can live with the hand um, issue. I don't know if Hasbro would send out just one single hand fist um, or how that would work, but that's what happened with mine. So be careful with these QC issues. Um, the, the windowless packaging, um, you know, I would have seen that out of the package, but I bought it online. It's not like I go to the store and pick out which one I want um, or anything like that. I just would have known prior to opening the package if a hand was wrong. And it could be that fact that maybe the hand wouldn't have been wrong if it was windowless package. Who knows how that works? It all sucks. Uh, but hopefully they get their shit together and, and and it gets fixed. What you know, whatever's going on at the factories where it's being, where these things are being packaged. Now that the accessories are being you know put into a paper bag, you know they're just. I don't know if they're just grabbing like one things and putting it together. How that works. Um, but you know, it does suck, but enough of that. Let's get into the, uh, review of the figures. We're getting for a closer look. We'll start with bullseye, get him out of the way quick. Then we'll go into Electra and we'll finish off with daredevil. 
Okay, so here is the bullseye figure, the one that nobody really cares about, the one where nobody actually likes the blue. Now, the blue is an odd choice. It is comic accurate. Um, we did have a bullseye release before, so this is essentially just a repaint. Not a whole lot difference um, in what we have going on. <clears throat> this bullseye, though, had a very dark uh, gray color. I wouldn't necessarily call it black, whereas this new one is definitely a black in color, as you can see, you know, the real difference in the mask and stuff. The same head sculpts, um, but the, the new one does have the digital face face print. I don't know if I like the digital face print <laughs> more in this case. Usually I do, but it, it, just something about it, maybe his teeth being super white and stuff. I, I don't know, maybe not, maybe not as good, uh, but that is the big difference there. As you can see, the belt and everything um, is the same. A slight difference in the deco of the boots. As you can see, four black lines on the new one versus three on the old one. Um, the same on the gloves, you can see three black lines instead of two, and then the bullseye target like part here on his chest, you see two black lines instead of the one from the original. But they again, they are the essentially the same um, exact figure. The difference with this figure though, this figure actually came with a gun for the holster, which I don't have now. Hopefully I have it somewhere in a bag in his knife with silver um, and black, and it does sheath in um, on his back there. So we do have that. Um, here we have the same like holster piece, but no gun like that. That was a, a very odd choice for Hasbro to do not really sure why they didn't include a gun They're gonna probably say that it was due to cost um, But I mean with all the the guns and, and stuff I, I don't know you you think they would have so because the knife she's she's there now in the promo images The funny thing is is they show the knife like this um, And I think that was to hide the fact that hey, they didn't include a gun um, and yeah, I guess technically that works, but that's not very good. Um, it's just a really weird choice. So that, that sucks. No gun should have come with a gun, all black knife, um, on this guy. He does also have the alternate head. So we're going to pop this one off and we are going to pop the unmasked head sculpt on, which is quite good. There we go. And this one is kind of like the crazy... Um, the crazy thing going on, oh, the digital face print on this really helps um, kind of make him look even more crazy, I would say. Um, and I really like the way it came out, and that's how I'm actually going to display this figure. Since I have this one displayed with the mask, this one will be unmasked, um, and he just looks super, super crazy. Um, one other thing, the QC issue, is my right leg was super bowed in. Um, I heated it up and cooled it down, and it, it's still a little bowed. Um, so just a heads up on that, you know, when taking it out of the package. Now, additional accessories uh, for Bullseye is, again, I, I, I talked about this, right? He has two right open hands. One is supposed to be a fist, so uh, mine, you know, is missing that. He does have a fist for his left because the open hand is um, out of the package. And then he has the uh, pointing finger hand. Um, like the previous one came with, and then also the knife throwing effect hand, um, like so that was on the previous one. Now let's go ahead and move on to Electra. Okay, here is the Electra figure, and this one is so nice, such a nice figure. We get two new head sculpts. They didn't just repaint the previous Electra figure. In fact, um, only a few things are actually the same as the previous Electra figure. That's gonna be the the torso. I believe is gonna be the actually the torso is different. Wait, is it? Uh, no, the torso is probably the same. Um, the bo so the body is the same, but the legs are different because now we get the pinless uh, legs and then we get the the new arms, the double jointed um, elbows, pinless elbows, and then the bicep swivel. This sash is um, the same as the previous one, uh, but we get two new head sculpts and you can see the digital face print came out extremely nice on there. They would have done a great job with this head sculpt had they done that, I'm sure, but this one came out really nice. I would love to see this figure in the red suit because you know now that we have a better body for like these figures, hopefully um, has Hasbro will at some point get around to changing it. Maybe when the new Disney Plus Daredevil Born Again show comes out, they'll do some more comic figures and that'd be really cool. Uh, but again, this one just looks really nice. Now looking at the design, she is in all white, which is um, kind of like the fan vote thing. Silk actually won that. There was the three different options. We, the options were a white suit um, Electra, which I guess in hindsight, it was good that it didn't get picked because now we get this this figure, um, a Sif, um, and then Silk ended up winning. Um, so we now we get the white one. I don't, I think originally when they showed it, it was the old head sculpt anyway, but we get this new head sculpt, a lot of hair um, and everything like that. Looking at the design, see some cut-ins on her suit and everything um, like that. 
but yeah, looks really, really good all around. She does have an additional head sculpt though, which has got some crazy hair. So let's go ahead and pop that head off and let's get this one on there. And this one's heavy because look how much hair that is. It, there's a lot going on and that's a solid ass piece of plastic for her hair, which is gonna weigh this figure down um, like crazy. Now it's tricky because there's only so much space to kind of work around in there because of all the hair and stuff. So you have to hold the figure pretty low to get that head to pop on there. And I'm still not getting it popped on there. So let me go ahead and go off camera so I can have some better control over it. Okay, so the head sculpt is on there and you know what? Yep, that makes it very back heavy and she just wants to fall backwards and I totally thought she was gonna fall there but it ended up getting it to balance. So you just kinda have to rebalance it because again, it's very back heavy and just wants to tip back. But that that hair is, is something else. That is really, really crazy. Um, in terms of accessories, she comes with an additional set of hands, so she has a pair of fists. Um, the hands that she has now are just kind of the open holding hands. She does have one here where the fingers are separated so she can hold uh, the sigh like so. I'd have to kind of really work that in the hand, but she can. she's able to hold it like that, um, as you can see there. And I'll show that a little bit, um, a little bit later. And then she also comes with a katana sword. Well, I don't know if this is a katana. This is one of the ones that came with like silver samurai and the ones that come with spiral. Nice silver paint for the blade and then just all black uh, for the hilt. And that is it for Electra. Solid, solid figure um, that I think a lot of people are gonna want. I hope, but again, hopefully we get uh, the red suit on this new body. And there we go, holding the size. Okay, and now we move on to Daredevil and he actually kind of, no, Bullseye still gets the short end of the stick, but in terms of, I guess, popularity and, and demand of the figure. But this Daredevil, um, he doesn't. He only comes with the one head sculpt. He has the one masked head sculpt, which is good. It's actually kind of loose on that on that neck a little bit. Like, it's not super wobbly, but it did move a little bit, as you can see there. But Bullseye came with two heads. Electra came with two heads. Why couldn't we get two heads for Daredevil? Maybe, like, um, a battle-damaged head or something with some blood, or a Matt Murdock head, or, you know, a screaming face or something. That would have been really cool. Uh, but we didn't get it. But anyway, this is how the head is supposed to sit on the body. See how it is very low compared to the Spider-Man figure. Um... I totally grabbed the wrong Spider-Man figure. That was the the Ama Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends 3-pack. So you can see the head sits much higher um, on Spider-Man than it does Daredevil. So when I first had it, when I started the video, you know, I kind of pulled up on the head um, and, you know, it, it sits better. I don't, I mean, I, I guess opinion, you know, it, on how you would prefer, but it feels more firm on there. But, you know, it's halfway popped off, of course. But, you know, I, I don't think it looks, you know, too bad. Uh, but again, the figures are the exact same. They are the same body mold, um, everything. So, you know, there's no difference in terms of size or anything like that, except for when it comes to the fists. So I had mentioned, you know, proportion-wise, you know, what, what looks different. Um, you could see Spider-Man's fists are larger than Daredevil's. Now, does that make a huge difference? No, not really. But um, when I first look at it and look at the proportions, you know, something definitely looked off. So I was checking everything, you know, what's different from, between the two figures and the fists are different. So that's, um, I think, part of what makes him look proportionally a little bit odd or different or smaller. Um, so it's just the neck placement and then the fists um, are the only difference. Other than that, the figure is the exact same, which is a very, very good body mold. So looking at the figure, nice all red Daredevil. The last few Daredevil figures that we had gotten, we had gotten like the Shadowlands black and red. Um, we got a couple of the red ones. One was in an Amazon exclusive four pack up for the Defenders, which was a pretty good one. Um, and then all the way, way back in um, the Hobgoblin wave, we had the red Daredevil on the Bucky cap, which I have right here. Here, um, which was a good one, but in terms of like articulation and stuff like that, it just looks like a much um, more outdated figure next to this new one, which is which is good. So I'm glad we really got um, this update here. Um, but this Daredevil is all one red color, whereas the other Daredevils had like two tone things. This guy is all the same color. In fact, you could barely see his Daredevil DD logo there on his chest. I don't mind that. Um, but maybe an outline would have been nice or a slightly darker color to really help bring it out um, I think would have gone a, a long way But this is a super articulated figure and it's going to be great to really pose um, Around so I'm not I'm not even mad at that now the 
Um, the batons are the same damn batons that we've got over and over again. They are a slight thicker rubber piece than we had gotten before that were super pliable. They do have the open holes there. So these ones don't actually peg together. Usually there's one with a peg so you can put them together. This one does not have that, um, but it does come with like the cable piece um, to really bring the two so you can have some cool effects. So if we zoom out, we get the two different ones uh, here. So essentially how it works is you port these um, in here, the batons, I don't know, is it supposed to, there it goes, it kind of clicks into place, so that's how you know it's nice and secure in there. Um, and then on the other end, so you can have it to where Daredevil's, you know, throwing the batons, you know, if you put it in his hand, you know, obviously I'm not going to really pose it around, but you can have it look like, you know, he's throwing the baton or he's getting ready to throw the baton and swing around um, to catch on something. So that is pretty cool. But again, there are two effect pieces. So let's pop this one out and they come out nice and easy. Um, and let's get this one. This one's more of a zigzag pattern. Whoops. I'm starting bending that a little bit. These are not bendy wire. Bendy wire would have been uh, kind of cool. I guess, but then at that point it's you know it's just a regular wire. So if you get like a paper clip, you could probably do something too. Uh, but that is a really nice effect. I think it's really cool when we have uh, things like that, and they are um, they're quite large. I like the size of them. It's really good. Um, and then of course, you know, out of the package, he has one open hand, one fist, and we get the opposite. So we do have he does have a pair of fists and a pair of open holding hands, and that is Daredevil. Solid, solid figure for sure that I think a lot of people are going to want. I really like it. Okay, so let's go over articulation of all three figures very quickly. Bullseye can look down that much. He can look up that much, which is pretty good. You get a full rotation in there. Not really any pivot going on in that head. Arm goes out that much, so you can do more than the T-pose. You get a full rotation in that shoulder. Of course, there is a butterfly joint, so you can get his arm to go back really far. You can get some cross body if you work that shoulder ball and then kind of... Get it in so you could do some crossbody there. Upper bicep swivel in there, double jointed elbow. It is pinned because it is an older body. This is a Spider Man 2099 body, so it is a good one. Um, that much bend at the elbow, wrists all swivel, and they hinge. They have the horizontal hinge on there. Uh, bullseye's belt keeps climbing up on mine. I want it to go down. Um, he has an ab crunch, so he can crunch forward that much, which is pretty good. Going back uh, that much, not too shabby at all. Waist swivel in there. Keep in mind that belt kind of moves around and stuff, so you got to work around that. Uh, legs go out that far apart he can't kick forward that high which is pretty good you can see how bowed in that leg is it's driving me crazy now uh doesn't really go back a whole lot upper thigh cut in there double jointed pinless knee you get uh, not pinless excuse me not pinless he has pins but double jointed knee uh calf swivel right there at the top of the boot foot hinges very stiff all the way down a uh, little bit of hinge up, ankle pivot, pickles at the bottom of the feet. Moving on into Electra. You're not going to get her to look up because that hair is wild on both figures. She can look down somewhat, though, as you can see there. Um, you can twist a little bit for Electra. It's only going to be going the one way because the hair hits the shoulder on that other side. Um, the arm articulation, so she can get her arm to go straight on out and do a little bit more than T-pose there. You get a full rotation at that shoulder. Upper bicep swivel. Got to love that on female figures. Double jointed, pinless elbow which is amazing which i can't seem to want to get that lower elbow to hinge properly there we go double jointed elbow pinless wrist swivel and they do hinge she's got the diaphragm cut on her so she's only going to pivot um, and tilt to her left that much she's going to tilt to her right that much she's going to go back actually quite far coming forward is hardly anything at all and you get the swivel at that diaphragm cut no waist swivel on there legs go out that far apart she can kick forward really really high which is great the leg goes back um, slightly there upper thigh cut in there double jointed pinless knee on a female figure and they're sturdy not flimsy they are still thin but not as bad as the old ones that we had gotten in the past uh, so that much bend there at the knee no calf swivel or anything like that foot hinges all the way down hinge up ankle pivot pickles at the bottom of the feet and the main attraction of the show daredevil with the spider-man renew your vows body mold so daredevil can look up only so much and part of that's going to be because his head sits so far on the neck if we work it up a little bit can he look up more uh yeah a little bit um because it does have that cut in the back of the neck so that ball peg because it uses the dumbbell joint can kind of move and get him to look up so you can only do that much and that's again with me raising the head on the neck 
it sits down there and just up is like non-existent down only so much but i think it's decent enough full swivel on there and again mine feels a little bit loose on there um, but it doesn't like swirl around on its own but you can get some pivot going on that's the benefit of that dumbbell joint the shoulder you can get the shoulder to go out so you can do t-pose there full rotation in there we have the butterfly joint which isn't as good as like the bullseye figure um, but you can get that much going back and then coming forward a little bit so you can do some crossbody. You can get somewhat, um, still a little limited. Upper bicep swivel in there and it feels like I'm pulling that arm down a little more than he really should. But uh, uh, the bicep swivel there. You get a double jointed pinless elbow, which is beautiful. You get that much bend at the elbow. Wrists swivel and they do hinge. They have the standard horizontal hinge. We have the inverted ab crunch and diaphragm joint. So tilt to his left is very good. Tilt to the right is very good as well. Um, just on that diaphragm cut going back, you go back that far coming forward is very little, but we have that inverted ab crunch. So going back all the way using both joints to get that much coming forward all the way, you get that much, which is really good. Um, there is no waist swivel on this guy. So you have a swivel there at that diaphragm cut and then legs go out that far apart. Um, he does have the drop down hips, although mine seem to not want to work as well, but you can get the drop down hips. You just kind of have to work it a little bit more on this figure than I would say like the Spider-Man figure. But again, that does work and that helps, you know, getting um, into some better poses because then he can kick um, higher up. Um, and then, so like when you're crunching down on stuff, it could work out a little bit better and then he could do uh, the splits going that much the batons are getting in the way on that side uh, But you know kicking forward works out really well with those drop down hits There is the upper biceps upper bicep upper thigh cut you get a solid double jointed pinless knee uh, There which works out really well swivel at the the calf or where a boot would be um, Foot hinges down that much you get some hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet and the coveted toe articulation um, which I wasn't a super big fan like I didn't necessarily need it but it does work out well with you know certain um, characters that that should be able to move around and get into crazy poses and stuff like that so Daredevil works out great Spider-Man it's perfect um, so we have that toe articulation there and he can kind of go down a little bit too so that is the articulation on this three pack Okay, so that is my review of this Daredevil 3-pack that is exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. I believe it is in stock now. Link in the video description below. Um, so, huge improvements um, on Elektra simply because the new updated bo female body mold goes a long way. The red suit would be a lot better, but the two new head sculpts are really, really nice. Like, the digital face print on them just came out looking um, looking great. Uh, so big improvement. I would love to see the red suit on this new body, but um, definitely an update. The Daredevil is night and day difference between Bucky Cap and what we have now. So uh, Daredevil moves around like crazy. The figure should be able to move around like crazy, and Bucky Cap just can't do that. This figure now can. So big update there. Bullseye. Um. Uh. Yeah. I. Uh. Okay. It. Yeah. Uh, sure. A repaint of the other one, just in all black, would have been nice. Blue is accurate, not what people, I think, really want. The digital face print on there does make him look a little bit more psycho, but no gun in the holster is weird. The QC issue of the leg on mine, not the not that big of a deal when it can be corrected with hot water. I'll just have to go through the process again to try and fix it. But the fact that I have two open right hands instead of a fist... Um, that does suck because it's just again, you know what we're seeing with Hasbro QC issues, you know Paint apps on all of mine are fine. That's not a problem But it, it's you know those additional things of making sure all accessories are in there making sure all the right accessories are in there And, and it's not perfect. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's new um, I think we may talk about it a lot more. It may come to attention a lot more because of the windowless packaging. Uh, but either way, it sucks. It shouldn't happen. Um, and hopefully not a lot of you guys have issues like that. Um, you know, I posted on Twitter about it already, if the two hands. And somebody mentioned something about Daredevil, getting a Daredevil without the batons. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Um, and that kind of thing shouldn't happen. 
Uh, but hopefully Hasbro Pulse is able to correct those things for people um, and get them replacements and whatnot. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this three pack? Yeah, I think it's pretty damn great. Bullseye for sure is the weak link, uh, but still pretty good. I think a lot of people missed out on that whole wave, the Marvel Knights man thing build a figure wave that that bull original Bullseye came in. Um, and you know, this gives people new collectors a chance to get a Bullseye figure without having to pay um, a larger amount, except they're paying 75 bucks for the three pack. Um, which is a lot. Uh, but again, you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. If you guys are um, interested in joining the MCU Collective and becoming a channel member, hit that join button. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.